Hey Luke here with CatsandCarp.com and me and my boy Tommy and my neighbor Colby here we are pitting the Ugly Stick GX2 against this go-kart. Yes sir, it's a rematch. Those of you who remember and watch my channel you'll remember that we did a video a while back where I took a very similar rod and reel combo to this and I put it through its paces and see what it would take to break these supposedly indestructible rods. We tied it to kayaks and dry, dragged it along the ground. We tied them to chainsaws and lifted them off the ground. We uh, did the ultimate water bottle challenge and casted a, a milk jug full of water. Even pulled my pontoon boat using this rod and reel combo. And in the end, the only thing that broke it was this go-kart. Now, I have had more comments from people saying, that was not fair, not fair, not fair, that, that go-kart didn't break the, the rod, it was the fighting harness you were using broke it. Because when my rod broke, it broke right where it was attached to the fighting harness. So a lot of people think that using the fighting harness for that particular experiment caused the rod to break. And if I hadn't been goofing around with the fighting harness, it would have been A-OK. -okay. So, here we are again. I've got the exact same ugly stick GX2 medium heavy action rod and reel combo. Got the reel that it came with here, a zip tied to it for extra support. I have cranked the drag down to an unhealthy level and I've got 80 pound Power Pro spooled on this sucker and I've got a 200 pound test uh, swivel on the end. And we're going to attach it to this go-kart and see if we can bust it. Now, something you should know this go-kart doesn't really have any gears, right? So if we start the go-kart off with the line tight, it just stalls out the go-kart every time. So what we gotta do is we gotta let the go-kart get up to speed and see whether or not it can take that immediate sudden shock. <laughs> oh, it spooled me. I got down to past all the braid, and then once it got to the weak stuff on the backing, it popped it. Look where it broke. Oh, your line's not even strong enough. That was 80 pounds, man. That was legit right in the middle of 80 pound line. Oh. I stalled ya! <laughs> oh, I'm reeling him in! <laughs> I got ya! <laughs> okay, so that last time took out the reel. Broke in the same spot that it did the last time when I was towing the boat. But you know, I really don't, we got like very little sunlight left and I really don't want to run back to the house to try to install that pen pursuit. So I'm gonna do something really stupid and I'm gonna see if I can just hold it like this and I'll probably end up taking my finger off. I'm gonna see if I can just hold the veil down. <laughs> Give it one more try. Snapped the line right at the reel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, again, so. Oh, look at the engine, Tommy, it's smoking. Smoking. Okay, so I think there's some validity to the theory that the harness broke the rod, not the go-kart. So, but we can't let this stand. So, I've got to go take this reel and get it off, and I'm, I'm out of sunlight, so we're going to have to call it a day. But I'm going to take this reel off. i got to get some stronger line, 
and we gotta see what it takes to break an Ugly Stick GX2. Well, it's a new day and we're putting a new reel on this Ugly Stick GX2. I've got this Pen Pursuit 2, the 8000 series, and I've strung it up with 150 pound braid. So this is the same reel I used in the first video, but instead of 80 pound braid, I'm doing 150 pound braid because I kept snapping the braid on the go-kart. Now getting this sucker to fit onto this rod is not an easy task. So I'm really gonna have to jam it on there and I've got a bunch of zip ties here to see if I can get it to stay because uh, there's a problem with it popping out of the reel seat because this reel seat was not designed for a massive 8000 series uh, saltwater reel. Alrighty. Got a Pen Pursuit 2 8000 series reel on a medium action Ugly Stick GX2. Exactly what the engineers had in mind when they designed this rod, I'm sure. So let's go see what 150 pound oh. braid can do. If you don't like the sound of braid going through eyelets, you're really gonna hate this. <laughs> so there you go, we're strung up, ready to go. Let's do round two of the ultimate rematch. Just broke my pen. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Piece of poop. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Well, there goes my pen pursuit. <laughs> so, pen pursuit 8000 was no match <laughs> for the go kart. But the ugly stick remains standing strong. That's oh. definitely the weak spot when it comes to reels. Don't cut yourself. How much force they can handle. That is definitely a weak spot. My reels busted. And I am not busting any more of my, my good reels. So I'm not gonna do that again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie off this around the stem. And it's just locked in there. That, that can't come off. That is 28 pounds. So this is about four pounds more than the bicycle. guys so I think we have found what it takes to break an ugly stick GX2 medium action rod right about 28 pounds so if you remember in the last video I lifted up the bicycle that bicycle weighs 24 pounds this bucket of water weighs 28 pounds and I could lift the bike couldn't lift the bucket now you saw when I was starting to lift the bucket it was moving it was moving I was just a pound or two from lifting that thing off. So somewhere around 26, 27 pounds is the max what this rod can handle. Now this reel, the Pen Pursuit 2, the 8000 series, only generates 24 pounds of drag. So right around there. There's only a handful of freshwater spinning reels that can generate 26, 27 pounds of drag. So you've gotta dig deep if you want to break this rod. All right, so check it out. This is where the rod broke. It broke inside the handle, right in the middle of where I was grabbing it. And then it broke again, right above this transition point where it goes from kind of this thicker fiberglass to, to the more proper rod portion. What is surprising is it didn't break at the ferrule, right where the, the two pieces join. So that's a really good ferrule design. It's not a weak spot, but it's not super bulky or chunky. So. Really good design there. But despite all this strength, 
There's one test the ugly stick can't pass. Oh, the car door. Every time, the car door kills everything. Thanks for watching and hopefully you had a good time. Here at the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, we are pleased to announce that we are starting a brand new YouTube channel called the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And you can see here some clips from the great videos you can expect to see in 2017. This channel is for all of our non-fishing related videos. So camping, hiking, fossil hunting, foraging, metal detecting, uh, magnet fishing, tutorials about survival and knot tying. We're going to do it all. Lots of fun, just good time videos. And we're putting out at least one video a week and several vlogs uh, a week as well. If you like what you see, don't forget to click subscribe both to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel and to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.